Good evening, it's Esther Bardner speaking and uh, for those that have never met me, I'd like to just say welcome. I hope you enjoy this uh, message that I've got for you and please pass it on to your friends and family and if you're on YouTube, please just click the like button and the subscribe and then please pass it on to others. That will be great because that's how my message gets out to everybody. I just want to welcome you tonight and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has been there for me this year. 2022, I think, was a real challenge. We won't talk about the other years, but this year has really been an interesting year, I think, for a lot of us. I just want to salute you for being alive, because some people didn't make it. And I just want to speak into your life if you've been through a troublesome time, and I'm going to mention the name suicide. Because some people have even wanted or tried to commit suicide. And that is what these last few weeks the Lord has been speaking to me and saying, Esther, there's so many people that feel as if this is the end of the road. And the Lord has said it's not the end of the road. We have to hold on to him. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, please go and read John 3. Because Nicodemus asked Jesus, how can I get into heaven? And he said, unless you're born again. You cannot enter into heaven. And that is the biggest me message, the biggest gift that I can give you tonight is spend time reading John 3. And ask the Lord to be your king, be your master, your best friend. Please send me a message or a comment at the bat bottom um, of YouTube if you like. Or you can send me an email. You can send it to hopeprayerinaction at gmail.com. Or you can send me a WhatsApp message on 08293 double one four one eight and i'd love to pray with you this is the season to care for one another the lord has been teaching me so many things that we need to make a family um, wherever we go so if you've got friends around you maybe that's your new family some of you are without family tonight but there's people around you that are also struggling that are saying this is a terrible season even christmas time people were like saying other people have got friends and family i've got nobody so when the season comes you feel alone and the Lord is every time it comes to December the Lord is always said to me is to speak to the people so tonight I'm taking the opportunity because some people don't believe in Christmas anymore so I have left this message for now to speak about we cannot have a resurrection if there is no birth Jesus did come and he did and um, he he died for us but he had to be born into this world to save this world and I really hope that you love again um, that Christians stop being so judgmental over each other we're breaking the Christian world down we, we, we're breaking it totally down I don't think there's another religion that actually fights against each other as much as the Christian and I hope that you will get the love of Jesus to love again because that is what he's talking about but tonight I would like to pray for those that have really had the suicide feeling I really want to bring you to the Father but what the Lord is saying to me, so I want to give you the opportunity, he's saying, Esther, when you walked through the nation from north to south, east to west, you took communion wherever you went, every single day. I would like to give you some time. Will you please go and get whatever you've got in your house? Oh, this is a provita. You can maybe have a piece of bread or whatever it is. And water is fun if you, Jesus turned water into wine. So whatever you've got in your house, if it's tea, if it's coffee, whatever it is, and God does not see the instruments, the resources that we're using. He sees the heart. But this is just to say, I believe in him. I trust him. And I believe that he died on the cross. So we're going to do communion together to start the new year. We're going to close off the old year to start the new year right. If we start with Jesus first in our nation, we're going to have a great God. And then this is a mirror that's up above me. But when I put the mirror on... The light is shining. and If you look at it, it looks almost as if there's the earth and there's a light radiating down. And that for me is already the Lord saying, Esther, I'm with you guys. I'm with every person that's listening to you. I'm with you. I want to bless you tonight. But the Lord also wants us to be obedient. And that's the most important. So for those that have got up and got your substance, I'm just going to pray with those that don't want to uh, move, but pray with me. So I'm going to pray. You can get your substance as well as soon as we finish praying. But I'm going to pray for those that have really had the spirit of death coming to um, haunt them and tell them, you are not worthy. 
of being on this planet. And I just want to remind you, Jesus made you not to take your own life. He made you because he is life. He's not death. Satan is dead. So Satan comes and he whispers those lines in your head. And I'd like to just pass you this message. God has really been working with me these last few weeks. It's maybe a whole month already. But it's been intense that I've been um, asking the Father to help me to pray for our nation and the people of our nation. To stand strong. It's not the end of the tunnel. When you get to the other side, there will be light. And that's the light that's radiating aging over us and over our nation. So I just want to bring you hope because that's what I stand for. Hope for South Africa. So let's pray together. Oh Lord, I pray for this person right now. I thank you, Father God, that you do a miracle. That they will reach out to you and say, give us the strength to make another day, another night, another week, another month, another year. And I command the spirit of suicide to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Stand and take your position now and say, Lord, I ask you to forgive me for having these thoughts. I ask you to clean my mind. And I thank you, Jesus, that right now you heal me. And speak, speak it out of your own mouth. I command the spirit of suicide to leave and a spirit of death to leave and never come back again. Thank you, Father. Amen. For those that don't know Jesus, I'm going to do a short prayer with you as well. Pray with me, Lord Jesus. I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to forgive my sins. I pray that you will hold my hand to give me the strength to make another year. I need you. I want to be your child. I want to follow you. I want to understand your love for me. And I want to love you with all my heart. Please guide me. Holy Spirit, protect me. And I ask you to come into my life right now. Hold my hand. Be my, my king, my friend, my father, my bridegroom. I thank you. In your mighty name, thank you for dying on the cross. For me, that you saw me. Amen. Some people are busy with um, drug addictions. I'm busy praying for... All the things that the Lord is showing me. I want to bring you to the Father right now. So if you've got a drug addiction or alcohol addiction, any addiction, let us pray together. Lord, I thank you right now. This person that is listening to my voice. We're closing off 2022. We will not go into 2023 doing the things that are abusive to our bodies. I ask you right now that you lift the spirit that wants to come and rest on the person of addiction, Lord. Gluttony, gluttony not just for food, but gluttony for sex, gluttony for uh, drugs, whatever it is, anything that is not pleasing to you. Think of what it is at the moment that really comes into your mind, that the Lord is really pondering on your heart to get rid of. Pray, say those words out loud. Speak it if you can, do it where you are, and just say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for doing these things that were not pleasing to your eyesight. The Lord will remind you, the Holy Spirit will speak into your life because he loves his children very much. Pray for the men of this country, Lord, that they will be back with their children. We've got so many fatherless children. Father, I pray for a miracle in our nation. Will you come and heal our land, Lord? Those that are away from their children, I pray for a miracle, Lord. I pray for a big miracle, Lord, to happen. Your children will not be fatherless. Thank you, Abba Father, for your love. And I thank you that you heal this nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my biggest desire, is that you heal our nation. Amen and amen. So for those that have got your substance with you, your bread, whatever, um, whatever it is, cookies, bread, whatever it is, I'm going to read for you, this is what I read through the whole country when I walk from the north to the south, the east to the west. This is my strength, this is what helped me go through. And it is so, you can, the, the, the word says, do this as often as you can. So it's not just going to church, you can do it in your home, because God is our covering, God is our best, best friend, our best example. I'm going to read in um, 1 Corinthians 11. Verses 23, so if you've got your Bible, please take it out. And I'm going to read, and um, I'm sure you will find it. It's in the New Testament, 
1 Corinthians 11 verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. So that's the night before you, that night, same night that he was crucified. He was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And that's what we're going to do. I want you to partake of this. If you're God's children and you love him with all your heart and if you gave your life to the Lord now, that's a road for you. God didn't say what's the time frame. He just said, commit yourself to him. And there we go. We asked forgiveness. So let us ask the Father to do a miracle. If you've got any sickness, God died on the cross and his body was broken for us. He died on the cross. But he rose again. But his body was broken. That's a representative of the bread. We're going to ask God to heal us tonight. So I'm going to pray for your body. Lord, I thank you. As we take this, it says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, thank you for every person that's watching. Heal our bodies, Lord. Restore our minds, our souls. Restore us, make us whole, make us serve you the way you want us to serve you. May we be your children this year in 2023. May we bring forth great fruits, Lord. May we serve you unconditionally with the love of Christ to the people around us. And may we heal this land as well. As we partake of this, we commit, Lord, and we say, Lord, we want to be a representative of you to, in this nation to heal our nation once again. No, thank you, Father. Amen. You may take your bread, whatever you've got. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing right now. Thank you for restoration of people's hearts. Thank you for forgiveness, that they will forgive themselves as well and forgive others. Mm. Thank you, Lord. You were a great example for us, Jesus. Verse 25, in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this is my cup. This is a new covenant of, in my blood. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. And that's what it's about. It's just saying, I believe. I believe that he died for me. And I believe that he rose again. And I believe that his blood restores me. His body that was broken for us is the bread. And the blood that was shed for us. By his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we were healed. Every time they hit him. Every time they damaged his body. That's what the bread stands for. His body that was broken for us. And his blood that was shed for us. And together we are made whole. God go with you. Let's partake of the Father's, the blood that God is healing and restoring us so that we can restore our nation in the Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for everybody that was able to do this with me. Thank you, Father, that you are restoring our nation. Because you said if you are first in our lives, our nation will be healed. And I thank you for that. Amen. I just want to mention something before I close off. I wrote this in the front of my Bible. I think you, if you can... Make a decree and declare uh, a declaration in your Bible. I'll read mine to you. It's very personal, but I don't have a problem with that. I have great expectations for my life and my country, South Africa. Make your country, South Africa, because it's not only mine, it's yours as well. I pray that I see the day that I will not just be a citizen of this nation, but a leader, like a president of this nation. 
I close off this chapter of my life with this Bible. I don't know how many years Hashem, God, has given me, but I pray to see one desire, and that is to turn this nation back to Jesus Christ. I pray to see that day before I go home to be with my King and Bridegroom, which is Yeshua, Jesus in English. My, my declaration is love will conquer all. So whoever hates, learn how to love your enemies. You don't have to love their sin, but you can show them who the God is in your heart. I believe Hashem, God, will grant me my position to lead this country back to Him and to rebuild a broken nation that will love again. That is my declaration. This is what I decreed and declared. That's what I did tonight. I pray that you will take this word that God gives us serious and trust again. God said, bring hope back to this nation. And that's the word I'm giving you. Don't lose hope. God has a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11. He has a plan for us and for our nation. Contact me. Write your comments on YouTube. Send me a WhatsApp, 82 9311418. Connect with me, hope, prayer, and action at gmail.com. I know God wants us to stand up. My question to you is, and that's what the next video is going to be, is what do you want South Africa? So for now, South Africans, not South Africa, South Africans, what do you want? Write me a little note. Tell me what you want for our nation. God bless you. Love you lots. And may you close off 2022 with victory and go into a beautiful 2023, knowing that you're not alone. God bless you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Enjoy my other videos till we meet again. Bye-bye.